Okay, hello everyone. Today is July 12th, 2024. Um, haven't made a video in a very long time, but I felt obligated to. Uh, Eminem just dropped the death of Slim Shady. Um, I used to be a very big Eminem fan. I write rap music myself. Um, but I just have to kind of give light on this and show people what they're really listening to and kind of put them on guard. And it's got some really interesting stuff in it from a Christian's perspective. Uh, two songs in particular that I'm going to be touching a base on, or touching base on, one called Lucifer and the other called Antichrist. Now, when you listen to Eminem, he's always like kind of giving satanic imagery, and maybe for the longest time I thought like, oh, he just finds like the devil cool and things. Like I've written rap music before that maybe myself that has had like maybe some devil imagery in it, and I'm not like it's not like I'm knowingly or consciously like worshiping the devil, right? Just, just kind of write it because it sounds badass and cool and things. Um, you're not really getting the full gist of it. But today we're going to dive into uh, some of the lyrics and the significance this has on people in the masses when they're listening to it. And also kind of show you that he is channeling demons, like real demons. Okay, like, um, you know, I've been through a state where I idolized him. I idolized Eminem, idolized celebrities, rappers, um, being a rap musician myself. Um, where you look up to these people and you know Eminem was my dude at one point you know I'm trying to like tell people that just to give them reference and understand but you know once you kind of find God and find the spirit of God the Holy Spirit and things it really exposes your idols and the wickedness that they're partaking in so anyways uh, we're gonna start with the song Antichrist okay first off this is right in your face bro like it's not like I have to do some subliminal imagery analyzation of things to know that he's talking about antichrist now is he for or against an antichrist that's what we're figuring out okay so first he starts out marshall he's the antichrist pretty simple right in front of your face he is saying he is an antichrist now i'm not going to sit here and say he's saying the antichrist but it kind of says like he is the antichrist right here right so he's kind of claiming to be the antichrist the devil came to michigan Fuck, fucking PC police, fuck. Okay, now this is important because he says PC police, p politically correct police. Um, and what I find ironic about this is Christians are more against politically correct things than anyone else, okay? And you might say, oh, well, I'm part of being politically correct. He's saying he's the Antichrist. It's not politically correct. It has nothing to do with politics. This has to do with religion. So when he's coming here saying he's the Antichrist, I don't know if he's saying, well, they'll call me that because I'm not politically correct, whatever. But, I mean, if you look at the context, too, of these verses moving forward, there's a lot of vulgarity in the language. Like, this ain't holy music, okay? And, you know, Christ tells us we're either with him or against him. So if he's not with Christ, he's against him. So he is anti-Christ, okay? Okay. So people think like, oh, he's just, you know, he's not actually saying that. It's like, no, he's saying that, dude. He's saying so hard, Megan V. Stallion, Nicki Minaj, scissor. He's talking about two women fucking. Now, excuse my language, having sex. I listened to too much Eminem growing up. But you know what I'm saying? Like, it's clearly against God's will, all this stuff that's in the verses. It's vulgar. It's, it's wrong. It's bad. It's just... It's all like, you know, the use of vulgar language. Now, I just did it myself too, right? Like, I'm not perfect. I'm not saying Eminem, you know, go out there and be like a perfect person. But he his his incentives here. See, I used to think like Eminem was just kind of saying like, oh, it's cool to be like with the devil and things. Like rock and roll, right? But now it's telling me his incentives, his intentions are to actually pull people towards the devil and towards, you know, the spirit of the Antichrist, away from Christ. I mean, he's proud. Marshall, he's the Antichrist, right? He's singing it. He's proud of it. And it's not something to be proud of, man. When you look at the Bible verses and the torture and torment forever and ever that the false prophet and all the Antichrist will be thrown to, into, into a burning abyss, it's like you don't want to be listening to this and nodding your head, bro. It's, it's bad, okay? Moving on. I'm not going to touch on the verses too much just because I want to get into the other song as well. Um, but, you know, there's a lot of you know, there's a lot of vulgarity in the songs, obviously. You know, y'all can suck my dick. You know, like, you're not really, 
he, clearly he's vulgar, okay? We all know Eminem has vulgar language, an evil tongue. It's a wicked tongue, all right? And I swore myself in this video, right? Like, but it's a matter of kind of convicting yourself, understanding, okay, I shouldn't do that, you know, and, and trying, right? He promotes it. He's proud of it. So, okay. And that's pretty much all I have for this track. I want to get into the song Lucifer as well. And then we'll get into some Bible verses to kind of reference to, to understand um, things. Um, so again, kind of talking about how he's against being politically correct. That's like a big theme in these two songs. And I want to just say that, you know, Satan casts out Satan in the sense that, like, just because you're against being politically correct and Christians are too, doesn't mean he's on the good side. You know what I mean? He's, if anything, part of the bull crap, right? Like he's a part of all this this nonsense in the sense that he's promoting Satan, he's promoting the devil. Okay, so a lot of crap in the verse, whatever, you know, then you can go to the pre-chorus, but if this is what he do to his mom, imagine what he'd do to you, I'm a lunatic armed, and if it's you I used to clip on for you to respond is ludicrous, ma, look what you're you to respond, Lucifer. So he's claiming to be Lucifer. Plain and simple, bro. It's right in your face, okay? And then the chorus goes, must be a cold day in hell. Tell me what you've done. Take me out my misery. I bought heaven when it was up for sale, and now I need a refund. So basically saying that heaven isn't worth it. You want your money back if you go to heaven or whatever. So basically denouncing heaven as a bad place in the sense that he wants his refund back because he bought heaven. And first of all, you can't buy your way to heaven. Obviously, I bought heaven when it was up for sale. It's all wicked shit. And, oh, this is a big one. Now my followers are like a satanic cult. Literally. Like, his followers have literally become like a satanic cult. And this guy is promoting the devil. He's preaching the devil. And they follow and they worship the devil through his music, knowingly or unknowingly. So... Um, he bashes Candace Owen, I think, in here or something. Yeah, right here, which I don't care about whatsoever. And, she was, and then it goes back to the um, chorus again. And then this little line here is I want to talk about. And I'm Lucifer and Dre's the producer for the Antichrist. So he's claiming to be the Antichrist, right? That's what these two songs tell me. Okay, you could say, oh, well, people, he's just saying people are going to call him that or whatever. It's like, dude, he's claiming to be it, right? He's not giving any other context in that. Okay, now we're going to talk about some Bible verses. So, for many deceivers who have gone out into the world, those who do not defest the coming of Jesus Christ in the flesh, such one is a deceiver and the Antichrist. So, he's proud to be against Jesus. See, a lot of people, like, they don't believe in Jesus or they don't believe in God or things but they don't really claim to be against it even though they are based on like bible readings and things they're not so consciously against jesus you know they're like i'm not against jesus i just don't believe in it he's going forward and saying i'm against jesus i'm against christ i am anti-christ right which is really scary and horrendous i've never heard such blasphemy or abomination on such a grand scale you know what i mean it, like at his age knowingly and things it's pretty insane that this is dropping and I mean, I haven't really heard much Christians talk about it, so. All right. 1 John um, chapter 2, verse 22. Who is the liar but he who denies that Jesus the Christ is the Antichrist? He who denies the Father and the Son. So he's claiming to deny the Father and the Son by saying he is Antichrist. He's claiming to deny the Father and the Son. Okay, then we go to John 4. I just have some verses picked out specifically. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they come from God. For many false prophets, right, have gone out into the world. By this you know the spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is from God. Every spirit that does not confess Jesus is from God. This is the spirit of Antichrist, which you heard coming and now is in the world already. So it's like, it's here. Clearly, the spirit of Antichrist is in the world, right? Um, and before you say, oh, well, you're saying Eminem's Antichrist. I'm not saying he is the Antichrist. I'm saying he is a Antichrist. 
and which what we're going to get into because it, it um the bible specifies that there will be many antichrists right there will be one false prophet right which i'm not saying he eminem is but i'm saying he is an antichrist okay whoever the false prophet is will be unveiled over time but this is one of the first times i've ever heard a celebrity say i am antichrist like i am the antichrist right okay two thessalonians um right here who exposes and exalts himself against every so-called god or object of worship so that he takes a seat in the temple of God proclaiming himself as God. Now, I'm not saying Eminem is um, taking the seat in the temple of God proclaiming himself as God, but he has exalted himself against every so-called god, and he has not taken the temple of God, but has proclaimed himself as God in the song Rap God. So when he makes the song Rap God, he's exalting himself above God because there's only one God, it's God. Okay, and you have to remember that. So that's important. Revelation 20, let's see right here. Oh, that's not the one I was looking for, 2010, okay. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown in the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast and the false prophet were and they will be tor tormented day and night forever and ever. And the reason I wanted to bring this one up is because like he doesn't, not saying he doesn't, but y'all don't understand the detriment of this, like, tormented day and night forever and ever. Like, you don't want to be a false prophet, okay? This is specifically the false prophet, but he's claiming, like, he's the Antichrist, right? I'm the Antichrist. He's not saying I, I am an Antichrist. Like, you want to be tormented day and night forever and ever? Is that what you're saying? Like, dude, when we die, we go somewhere. People think it's all a game. They think it's all a joke. Like, you need to fear God in the sense, like, like I think about my sins and things, like, I die tomorrow i don't know like would god send me to heaven or hell like i hope he forgives me but it's not my decision it's his and i you have to humble yourself to realize that really no one is guaranteed heaven like you have to really humble yourself and fear god you know in that sense so it's like it's, it's really sick what this is um you know, and one thing too that I didn't have a, a verse slide out here, but is pretty com or pretty common theme is the idea of sorceries and magic and the evil of sorceries and magic. And you look at Eminem just dropped um, Abracadabra or whatever, right? And he's got a lot of, you know, you can watch the video for yourself. It says like, oh, this is some sort of unholy trinity, right? Like there's a lot of um, satanic imagery even in, in that song and like the idea of sorceries and witchcraft and magic um i would definitely say eminem is a devil worshiper though it's pretty you know it's weird because up until this point even when abracadabra came out i was kind of like you know maybe he, he's just still stuck in the ignorant state when he was younger that he just kind of like thought the devil was cool like obviously this guy he's intertied with some evil people too and like secret societies and things right but sometimes I wonder if the secret societies even control them because it's like, why would they need to control them? They, they write evil music without their control. Like, if you listen to a lot of these rappers before they're famous, they're writing evil shit anyways. They don't need to be controlled, right, to write evil music. It's just in the culture. It's in, it's in it, you know? So it's kind of, I always question that, but this really opened my eyes to see that, okay, he's definitely a devil worshiper, which I could have guessed before, but this really solidified it for me, so... So at the end of the day, you know, just be on guard to what you're listening to. Like, there's so much evil music. It's, it's like all satanic, and it's really sad to see. But, yeah, that's all I got to say. Just had to post it because I wasn't seeing anyone else doing it online. So that's all. Peace.